Now, here we have three war robots. These robots are going to fight the Hydra over here, and hopefully the Hydra will win. But let's find out, shall we? Start the battle! Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Today's first suggestion says day six of asking Fudgy to make a slightly scaled up human skeleton that is covered in flamethrowers give him glowing eyes and red sparkle effects as well as the new flames right that sounds pretty cool we're also going to make him strong enough to hopefully take down the t-rex but we're not actually going to use this one right here because well he's probably going to fall over yep um so for that reason i'm going to start from scratch and create a brand new skeleton oh he got messed up wow how's the shield just standing up like that it's actually pretty impressive so Let's remove this giant skeleton, head over to Animal Base, and then let's create our own. You know what? I'm also going to increase some of the stats here. Let's go HP multiplier 4, attack multiplier 6, and then scale it up. And hopefully this guy should be able to stand and walk a lot better than the last guy. You know what? Let's not go too crazy. Let's just go 1.5. Now we're moving on to the torso, which actually looks a little bit out of proportion right now. There we are. That's a little better. And just like that, we have a skeleton. But now, time to add the flamethrowers where are they um ah here we go flamethrower right so cover him in flamethrowers how, how crazy are we going i'll tell you what let's add two on each hand so it's gonna be like a fiery punch when he fights the t-rex he should punch with flames which is pretty cool also i really hope that this creation here can actually walk if not the flamethrowers would just have to do all the work okay and then we'll have um another wow. two here some knee flamethrowers can't forget the knees i mean the comment does say covered in flamethrowers so you know we could go crazy like this but maybe that's not the best idea we'll see what happens with what we've got so far and then maybe i'll add some more now for the glowing eyes what kind of eyes should we go for let's go with red yep that's pretty terrifying we also need the red sparkling effect i might add some of that on um this side here there we go same for the other side keep it nice and symmetrical and finally the suggestion mentioned about the new flames so of course i'm gonna add it to his skull oh yes terrifying oh wait hang on a minute oh this is gonna look really cool put some inside his body if we can oh i mean <laughs> sure oh no oops it can go there i guess ah i keep accidentally deleting him right this guy is t-rex ready but just before we see him in action 77 percent of you are not subscribed so make sure you click that subscribe button if you do want to see more videos start the battle yes he can walk it's perfect oh my goodness <laughs> That is so loud. All those flamethrowers going off. Come on, dude. Has he done it? He's defeated the T-Rex with ease as well. Maybe we went a little bit too crazy with the stats. So because that win was pretty easy, I've gone ahead and spawned in a bunch more dinosaurs. And I've also just realized I've kept all their stats <laughs> at four and six for the attack multiplier and the uh, HP multiplier. So yeah, the skeleton is definitely going to die. But who knows? Maybe the flamethrowers might just protect him. Oh no, come on, dude. You can do this. <laughs> oh, the T-Rex has his arm. Come on. What is... <gasps> What is the Spinosaurus doing? Ah, uh, we lost too many dinosaurs and too many upgrades. Poor guy. I shall save you for another day. Proceed. Day one of asking for a scaled up upgraded werewolf. Maybe add the new flames as well and call him Raffi. All right, you got it. So here's the werewolf here, but you know what? He's not good enough as he is. So let's go for maybe, again, nothing too crazy. HP multiplier five, attack multiplier eight. That's pretty good, actually. And now we need to scale this guy up. How crazy do I want to go? We can go with five, but that might be a little bit too insane. But just for fun, let's see him in action anyway, shall we? Wow, he can actually still crawl just fine. Oh, he's done a front flip. Well, that was pretty epic. He's already killed quite a few of them. You know what? He doesn't work too bad, actually. <laughs> Even though he's all the way scaled up to five, he's still doing a pretty good job. Most units can barely move or, well, stand even. So it's a good thing that this creature can crawl. He's actually killed them all nearly. <laughs> Look at this guy go. He's so bouncy as well. He is a little strange, though. Don't get me wrong. That's it. Another one down. <laughs> he's making this look so easy. Oh, face plant. <laughs> so weird. All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to scale him down a little bit. All right. You got one more to kill and 
Oh, wait, no. Now, now he's killed them all. So instead, let's go for free. I think that should be enough. I mean, he's not the most detailed unit in ARB, especially when you scale him up. But let's go ahead, upgrade this guy, and then we'll see him in action. I think I might actually give him a helmet as well. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I'm also going to give this guy some shoulder pads, as you can see. Hopefully, that'll give him a little bit of extra protection. So now, Raffi here is looking a lot more scary. He has a bit more armor, a few more spikes, as you can see, even on the back of him as well. Now, we need to go ahead and add those new flames. So I'm going to add some to his back here. I think that would look pretty good. Just looks like a werewolf that's on fire. A giant werewolf. And just like that, I present to you, Raffi. Now let's see what this guy can do. Start the battle. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that trail of fire. Oh, he's face planted. But that's okay because he's still going to take him all down. <laughs> yeah, his movement is still all over the place. But, you know, I think that just makes him look a little bit more crazy and a little bit more scary as well. Oh, no, he's being axed. Be careful. Whoa. Hey, look at him go. You know what? I actually really, really like this guy. I like the werewolf in general, though, to be fair in Animal Revolve Battle Simulator. He is a pretty cool creature. Looks a little funky, but uh, his movements, his animations are uh, pretty good, to be honest. Maybe not so much when you scale him up, but you know what? That's fine. Well, it looks like you got one guy left. Take him down. Nice. Just, just squish him like that. That's perfect. And just like that, we have won the fight. Now, I'm not sure if Raffi is going to be able to do this or not, but we have all of the Infernals right here, which means the Scourge unit is also fighting. He is extremely powerful, so I'm a little bit worried about this one. But let's see if he can do it. Come on, take them all out. That's it. Get stuck in. All right, so far, so good. Raffi is doing okay. Oh, where'd he go? What? What's he doing over there? <laughs> oh no. The Ogre Lord's going to throw that hammer at us as well quite a lot, and that's going to do a lot of damage. How are these skeletons still alive as well? I thought they'd die really quick. Oh no. Raffi died. I think the Scourge unit just threw him. That's how he's actually going all over the place. Rest in peace. You met your match. Now, this next suggestion simply says, love the video. Why don't you put arms on a mech? So this is a very simple idea, but I selected this comment here because I thought it would be pretty funny. So let's just go ahead, remove some of the missiles and the turrets and stuff from this guy. So this is actually the mech that I made when the update came out. I've also got one from the workshop over there. So all we need to do now is modify them and put arms on them. <laughs> and uh, to make it even more funny, I'm actually going to put some like human hands on it. So here we go. <laughs> this is going to look so dumb. All right, scale it up. Oh, wow. I, I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now. All right, how does it look? <laughs> Perfect. Just how I imagined it. Right, let's remove the turrets as well. We don't want any missile launchers or anything like that on these designs. We simply want them to punch. So let's go over to this guy as well, modify him. Um, I don't really know where all of the turrets are on this guy, but hopefully we'll find them all. So remove the flame throws. Um, is that it? By the looks of it, this creation hasn't got anything else. Hmm. What if I gave him some, like, claws instead? Like, that looks pretty terrifying already. Y yep. I don't know why, but that somehow works. <laughs> Right, let's start this battle. Here we go. Oh, no, my mech is so much smaller. Oh, he died so quick. No, this guy is way too powerful. So I've gone ahead and changed him to the same mech. Right, let's see what happens. All right, punch. Yes, this is so weird. Ah, oh, just robots punching each other to death. All right, the question is, though, who's going to win? I hope my team wins, which is this guy right here, this mech. Come on. They're both the exact same. Oh, no, we lost. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're both exactly the same anyway. But now it's time for war. All right, here we go. <laughs> There's just loads of them beating each other up now. Um, so, yeah, hopefully my team will win this time. Just listen to all those punches right now. Honestly, such a random idea, but... <laughs> I think it worked so well. Oh, we got our first guy down. Probably on my team. Look at all those pieces there, including the arms. Oh, another one down. Oh, wait, let's check who's winning. Oh, no, team two. How are they so good? We lost. Next suggestion. Day 71 of asking Fudgy to make a not scaled up or down Hydra with upgraded stats and armor to be the Gary's Beast. Name the Hydra Caddy. So here's the Hydra right here. Now I'm going to be honest, I might scale it down just a tiny bit because the Hydra is a pretty big unit. Um, and actually this unit <laughs> might be way too powerful to be on Gary's team. But with that being said, let's make it more powerful and set it to two and two. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is just insane. All right. So, uh, yeah, Gary's team getting a massive, massive upgrade today. Uh, you know what? Let's just go 0.9. All right. I know the suggestion said not to scale it up or down, but I just want to make it a tiny, tiny bit smaller. All right, chatty. Let's give you some armor. But again, nothing too crazy. So what I've done so far is uh, given some armor to the two on the front here, as you can see, with the glowing eyes. And then the other three have the spiked helmets. And the middle one also has like this flame effect in his mouth, which looks pretty cool. This is a pretty evil looking creation for Gary's team. But Gary does need the backup, that's for sure. Gary's team does often win the fights. Okay, now how do we want to add armor to this guy? Need more. Maybe something like this. We don't want to go too crazy. So ladies and gentlemen... I would like to present to you possibly the new strongest unit in Gary's team, Chatty. Yes, hello, Chatty. Good to meet you. You look very scary. So let's do a little T-Rex test, shall we? I mean, we're going to win this one very easily. I can already tell. Look at him go. Oh, Chatty, you are so powerful. Right, there's no way Barry's team are going to win with this guy in action. I mean, the T-Rex, you know, he's doing, he's doing all right doing too bad he's still standing which is you know great for him and everything but it's a shame he is about to die get ready for it and just like that he is dead and health wise as you can see chatty is completely fine or would it be chatty's I don't know. Anyway, let's do some more testing. So here we go. Time for the big fight. We have all of Gary's team here and we have all of Barry's team here. At least I hope they're all here. There's a lot of members now. So with the help of Chatty, we should be able to win this one pretty easily. And we also outnumber Barry's team as well. Start the battle. All right, here we go. How epic is this? Look at the hamster go as well. The upgraded hamster. I think he actually might already be dead. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, yes, Chatty. Look at him go. Come on. I don't know where Gary is right now. Oh, look. It's Gary's big brother versus Barry, the main man himself. And Chatty is also taking him down. Yes, he's done it. Barry's down. Come on. Who's still alive on their team? Wait, who's this guy? Wait, what? I didn't mean to get this guy in. That's the <laughs> that's the guard, right? I swear he's not supposed to be here. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Gary's security guard. He's, he's not supposed to be in, in the fight. But we won. We did it. We absolutely destroyed barry's team man it is so unfair now but yeah to be fair the security guard he doesn't often show up but he definitely helped out in the fight there but i do quickly want to see chatty against some war robots all right, i have a strong feeling he's just gonna die all right here's what we're gonna do because i want to see the hydra fight some robots i'm gonna upgrade another one so i am also gonna scale him up to maybe i don't know is that too big yeah that might be a bit too much right, let's go 1.5 hp multiplier 30 Attack multiplier, 15. Seems pretty strong, I would say. And you know what? No armor or weapons necessary. All right, start the battle. We have a different robot now to fight. Come on. Oh, we've done it. <laughs> yes. We took down that war robot so easily. Although he killed two of the heads there. Next up to fight the Hydra is my mech designs. We have three of them and I've not created two armies. There we go. Fight. Come on. Go, Hydra, go. Yes, yeah, so far, so good. Come on, destroy those mechs. Oh, it's looking good. Come on, Hydra. Yes, one down, two down, three down. Oh, wait, no. Now three down. There we go. Victory to the Hydra. Now, here we have three war robots. These robots are going to fight the Hydra over here, and hopefully the Hydra will win. But let's find out, shall we? Start the battle. All right, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, dude, he got messed up. All right, yeah, I'll be honest. These guys are very, very powerful. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send in some backup for the Hydra here. And also, look at this guy. This guy looks insane. All right, let's start the war. Oh, what the? was that? What was it? This thing just wiped them all out? All right, let me see this again. Oh, never mind. It died straight away. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!